Hello everyone, this is Sandra from Wallifier and Whimsy Dreams. Uh, and in this tutorial, uh, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a beautiful poster with minimal text and just one graphic. And in this tutorial, I will be using the new Mari uh, graphic or illustration that I just added to the Whimsy Dreams shop. The Whimsy Dreams shop is a shop where I sell uh, clip art singles that is perfect, you know, if you have a specific project or you are creating, say, a card or something, or you have uh, a client that, you know, wants something specific, then you don't have to buy those mega packs and you can just keep it to the basics, you know, and pick out the perfect graphics for you. It's like a candy shop, you know, for graphic lovers. So head over there and take a look uh, at all different kinds of graphics uh, that are available. Enough about that. Now let's get on to the uh, designing of this beauty. And we start out by going to elements here on, um, on the menu to the left. I'm using the pro version of Canva and I highly recommend you switching over to premium if you have a business or you create lots of graphics for your say marketing or you create uh, printable designs that you are selling you know in your shop you can of course use the free version as well I have a class about that how you can walk around all the, <laughs> the limitations of the free version but uh, just if you see some different types of illustrations and stuff like that, I'm using the uh, pro version. So uh, I will be showing you here how to do this simple design. So just go over to grids, drop it in the design and just make it a little bit smaller like this and center it like this. And now we are going to head over to uh, the illustrations or the uploads here. And here we have it, the Mari in beige or mustard. So just take it here and drop it into the little placeholder here or, you know, the element there. In this case, you can move it and, you know, enlarge it and, and stuff like that. If you notice this, that the graphic is cut off, then just enlarge the holder for this graphic so it fits inside it. No worries there. And now we uh, are going to add a simple text to this. And as I have the pro version, I have my, you know, um, <laughs> my favorite font here that I use for my own branding. So you will have another font there. So, and then we can collapse this one and go to the font selections up here in this uh, little bar here. You know, when you, uh, when you click this, uh, lots of fonts uh, <laughs> fonts uh, appear here as i want a vintage feel to this one i just entered vintage in the search bar here like this vintage and hit enter and now all you know the vintage fonts will appear here the fonts with a crown here is for pro users, so if you have a free account, you cannot access those fonts. But I will be showing you two alternatives, one for the free version and one for the premium version. And I really love this um, bed horse, that is a font for the pro version. Let's see here if I find it here. This bad horse. And we will just triple click inside the box there to activate the whole thing. And we will write summer love. Because that's how I feel about the summer. And a large L or capital L here. Summer love. Like this. And I want to enlarge it a little bit. So I go here to the size options and I will scroll down to like 42. 
and then I will center it like this and change the color to my favorite one. As I have premium here, I have uh, pre-selected favorite colors that I just can snatch, you know. But if you have the free version, you can go to new color and import uh, the hex code here. And I will leave the hex code to my favorite brown color in the description. So go over there. Like this. Now I'm going to show you the trick here that is really important. You will highlight the text and hold in the shift key on your keyboard and highlight the graphic as well. Now you see everything is uh, like a uh, unity here. Now that it is highlighted, you can move them together. And now you can see you can center the design here very easily. You can also make some fine adjustments like this i like it when it's a little bit lower down when it's a circle like this the important thing when you are designing is uh, thinking about the white space or the breathing of the design if you enlarge the design too much i will show you here like this it's super large it takes over and the, the thing with the um, designing is to keep a lot of white space in your designing so let's adjust it a little bit more like this and this and now you can also go to file and show print bleed as I will have this as a white background for this design um, as I want this to be a white background for this design uh, the bleed here isn't that important as it's not necessary to crop off any um, smeary <laughs> areas here when we print you know the printer cannot uh, really print to the edges but if you have a colored background here you can of course add one and you can you do so by going to elements and this grid again and drop it in the design and it magically appears here in the in the background and you go to the colors here options here and you can choose another background color. I like soft colors for this, so the design, you know, <laughs> appears. So, but I like it white, so I will uh, remove this. And you do so by activating it and click on delete, and then delete again because we don't have to have this space holder or this element holder in the background. So. Of course, you can center the design if you find that this is better for you. Uh, I like it when it's a little bit lowered when it's a circle like this. If you like to create a version with the free uh, Canva, you can go to another font that I really love and it's called uh, Avdira like this. So it looks beautiful as well. So no worries there. There are always options in Canva. So like this, super cute. And when you uh, print this, you go to this download arrow here up in the right side <laughs> of the upper menu, click it. And then you have this selection here, this PDF print pre-selected. And if you have background, you click this one to activate the print the crop marks and bleed. But I will leave it be. And then you just click download. And now it's downloading. And it's you can open this like this and just press this 
uh, print. N now it's in Swedish, but you know, your printer, your printer will look different than mine. So just hit print and uh, remember to choose a high quality paper for your printing um, designs so they will look, you know, fab. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and you find all the links below. You find the link to uh, the Mari uh, clip art design as well and uh, also the names of the fonts and the brown color that I use, the hex code that you import into, you know, that little hex holder in the color <laughs> in the color picker. So I hope you really enjoy this tutorial and if you like this channel please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me grow the community and if you want to learn even more about uh, Canva and what you can do with it uh, maybe you know you want to learn to, how to create printables uh, using clip arts, then you can of course join the community. We love to see you there. And it's a Facebook community and you find the link also in the description. You are warmly welcome there. So I hope you enjoy this and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye everyone. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.